Hey VAT, uh, we're back again and this is going to be our third practice for uh, making a photo montage. This is kind of a different type of a photo montage that we haven't talked about yet and you're going to learn a lot of new tools and ways to work with layers to make your uh, artistic dreams become reality. Um, this particular file which can be found on our website uh, clicking on the link and, and opening up this in Photoshop, you'll see one, two, three layers of photos and then a background layer that is locked. We're going to be uh, cutting and pasting, duplicating layers, and using layer styles to make a photo montage out of these three photos. The first thing that I want to point out is that we already know about some selection tools that can get you um, some different shapes. So we're going to first work with the marquee tool. Um, if I click and hold on the marquee tool, I'll see that there's a rectangular and an elliptical marquee tool. And if I click and drag those on my screen, I'll get uh, a, an ellipse or an oval shape. If I hold down the shift key, I will get a perfect circle. Same can be said about the rectangular marquee tool. If you hold down shift, it is a perfect square. Um, once we have a selection um, and we let go, you'll see the marching ants that indicates that you have a selection made. And then it's good to know that inside of the edit area, there is a cut and a copy. Um, cutting obviously will cut a hole in that layer, but, um, providing you a window into the, the next layer underneath. Um, if you were to copy, it would not cut uh, a hole in it. It would just simply copy the area. And then either way, if you cut or copy, it goes to your clipboard and it'd be ready for you to edit paste. By pasting something, um, from the clipboard onto a Photoshop document, it pastes it on a new independent layer. So this layer now has just a circle on it, and that layer can be edited independently. So if I was to do a control T, I could shrink that by itself and put it where I want it. Um, also, I could do on that layer, I could do image adjustments and I could do a color shift or something with um, the brightness or the contrast, curves, and so on and so forth. So that is kind of nice to, to know about. Additionally, I can duplicate this layer by right clicking on it, going to duplicate layer, or I can simply drag the layer down, not into the garbage can, that will delete the layer nice to know that you can get rid of a layer that way but also next to the garbage can where we usually make a new layer if you drag the layer into that button it opens up and it copies that layer basically so now I have two circles it doesn't look like anything happened here because it's directly on top of the original but if I was to control T to pre transform and then shrink that down I can see now that I have um, another another circle. And I can, I'll just do that again. I'll right click, duplicate layer. It sometimes will ask you what do you want to call it and you can title it circle, small, whatever you want to call that layer to keep yourself kind of organized. And now it doesn't look like anything happened again. It's just because it's on top of the original. So I'm going to shrink that down. So now I've got three little circles stacked on top of each other and I'll apply that kind of cool to to be able to duplicate layers that way. Um, another thing that you can do is inside of these layers, if you were to double click on a layer, you can see that there are these things called layer styles. Layer styles uh, include lots of different things that you can do to layers, such as putting a stroke, which is like an outline, putting a drop shadow, a glow, um, satin finish, so on and so forth. But it's good to know too that the drop shadow or any of these styles can be edited the way you want them to simply by clicking on the words uh, and then it opens up a lot of functionality within that within that um, that window. There's This is a drop shadow for example and it allows me to adjust the opacity of the drop shadow, the distance away from the, the, the item, the spread, how far it spreads out, the size, the contour, yada yada there's there's a uh, hundred and one different things that you can do inside of this style um, the style window so I'm gonna hit OK and I can see the little drop shadow that I've that I've put on that that circle kinda makes it stand out it creates some emphasis on that circle uh, making it kind of look 3D additionally uh, beyond layer styles and being able to duplicate uh, certain things I'm gonna kinda hide those for just a second I'm gonna move to the city here 
You know how, how uh, you know how to make rectangles, squares, circles, and ellipses now. That's really easy with the marquee tool. But what if you wanted to make a different shape, such as an organic shape or uh, a different geometric shape? There's a lasso tool that will allow you to cut out any shape you want. It's like a hand drawing tool that allows you to do organic shapes of any kind. The polygonal lasso tool is kind of nice because it's kind of a connect the dots type of situation where you can click, 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 and then finally coming back to the original point. When you click, you create a selection. You'll see those marching ants again. And now I've, I've been able to make a triangle with that polygonal lasso tool. Um, if I was to you know delete that if I hit delete or if I was to edit it would only delete it would only delete or it would only affect the pixels that are inside that triangle now so let's just say I cut that out now it's showing me the third layer the bottom layer which is those uh, mountains in the background it's kind of a cool way to cut out different shapes um, and then additionally like we learned we can double click on layers and let's just try an outer glow on this there it is, outer glow. And I can select that option and get this dialog box to show me a lot of different um, a lot of different things. You can change the color, you can change how how big, how much it spreads out, the size of it, and uh, get some different effects going on with that. Okay, so when I'm okay, I hit okay. I can bring back these now. It's starting to look kind of fun. Um, last thing that I'll, I'll remind you of is that um, there there is the ability to apply with any of these things. You can apply a um, uh, like a blending mode or change the opacity of the layer and things like that. So I'm going to actually paste now. I'm finally pasting that triangle that I cut out so long ago, and it's pasting it on its own layer. So I can move that layer to the top of the stack. I can control T to change the size. I always hold down shift when I sh when I shrink things and put that there. And then just to prove it to you that you can apply a blending mode to these things. Ooh, I kind of like that one right there. So repetition, emphasis, um, balance, all those things can be thought about when choosing where to put stuff. Um, and there's a bunch of techniques for you. I, I hope that you enjoyed this and that you can just take the rest of the time today to play and experiment with all these different functions. There's uh, no and there's no end to the possibilities um, with Photoshop. So have fun.